what is up everybody this is bmc on the beat coming at you with a tutorial on fl studio how to make your own drum kits and get them out to the public so they can purchase them i loaded up a bunch of my sounds here that i want to put in my drum kit we got about almost 30 sounds probably add a couple more and i uh i clicked all of them clicked all of them and i brought it into the mixer went to number one on the mixer right click channel routing route selected channel starting from this track once you click that you'll get everything laid out right in front of you another tip that a lot of people don't know which is really cool is if you have everything selected you click this arrow right here at the top left go to color selected gradient and now you can pick two colors in which your uh your mixer will show so you can go like i don't know you like yellow I and mean, you can add colors here whatever you want usually i like going like a yellow and like a black and then you got this right here if you want to bring that into the mixer just click the mixer again do the exact same thing i just said go to your first channel channel routing route selected channels starting from this track not the first one the second one and you'll have them all routed out. oh it didn't work this time because i already did it but if this is clean and you do what i told you this will all light up the same color as uh okay so that was the last one i did now we got this hi-hat here it's a hi-hat i use a lot but I always have to manipulate it whenever I use it, which is a problem. And plus I wanna make it different. I wanna make it unique since I'm gonna be putting it out in a kit and asking people to purchase. So sometimes I like to normalize it, make it sound a little louder. This time I'm gonna normalize it. And then usually I'll just mess around with this envelope a little bit until I get a sound I like. I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the out knob. I'm gonna bring that in. Make it a bit of a tighter hat. I don't know, you guys should, should be able to hear that. And I'm probably gonna pitch this one down. Yeah, that sounds dope. So now now we got this. Right? good for like uh, hi-hat rolls and... all right so that's that now I have my sound how do I export it where do, where do I put it the easiest way I find is I'm just gonna click the first note I'm gonna go into the mixer I'm gonna go to channel 9 because that's where my hi-hat's gonna play whenever I hit play now here you can add more effects so here sometimes if you want to put a reverb on it put reverb on it i'm gonna put a little bit of reverb on this actually you know what i'm not gonna mess with the reverb i'm gonna put some delay on this i think that'll sound pretty cool so i'm gonna change the delay to two bring down the volume bring down the cut and I'm gonna put it on ping pong mode. So now it's got a little bounce to it. And once you put a couple of these in line, trust me, it's gonna sound dope. Or if you have a slower track, it's just shaking in the back. Okay, now to export this sound, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into the mixer. First, let me throw an EQ on this. Make sure there's no lows in there. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to open up an Edison inside of the mixer channel of your sound. Open up an Edison. Change this to on play, press record, and I'll play your sound. That's it. Now I got the delay, everything. Okay, stop recording. 
Now I'm gonna add this sound with this button here, save it into my drum kit pack. And we're gonna call it DMC Delay Hat. Save it, and now you're done. Now you're on to the next sound. So we're gonna move on to this sound. Now I got an open hat here. What can I do to the open hat? I can shorten the length, crank the out knob, make it shorter. I like something like this. Also, you see this dead space in the front? We can completely get rid of that. So it's, it's, it happens right on the beat, right when you play it. And in order to do that, you either change uh, the in, no, sorry, the, uh, yeah, you change the start offset, where, wherever the sample starts, right? This will change it. So this is starting at the end now. Or you could change the sample start. This will actually push your sample back to the beginning. So I'm going to do something like that. It doesn't have to be right on, but it sounds dope right there. So I'm going to leave that. And uh, I might pitch this up 200 cents. No, too high. Maybe pitch it down 100. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. So, same thing. We're gonna go into our mixer. This one's playing, okay. Throw an EQ on it. And, uh, maybe add some reverb on it because it is an open hat. So, I'm gonna throw a little bit of reverb. Bring down the wet quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna open an Edison once again, on play, record, play. That's it, now I got my sound. So I go here, go to my folder, BMC, open, Save it. That's it. On to the next. So now we got another open hat, but this one usually tends to play right at the right at the beginning. This one sounds like it lasts way too long, so right away I'm gonna crank the out knob. Automatically it's stopping sooner. I don't know if you guys can hear that if you're wearing headphones. I think I'm gonna pitch this one down 200 cents as well. Uh, maybe 100. That's not dope right about there. You can play with uh, the attack and delay. I'm gonna leave it off a little bit. I don't want I don't want it to hit too hard in the beginning. I think it sounds better like this. And uh, mixer. I like EQing all my sounds just in case there's any low frequencies. It might not make a difference to you guys, but if you stack enough of these together, together, you start to get some muddiness down here. So I tend to like to just cut it out completely. Um, we can even do stuff like gross beat. Gross beat's another cool thing you can do where you can uh, manipulate your sounds. You want to get something that starts somewhere here because you actually want it to take effect, right? If you leave it too close to here, it's not going to take effect. And you could just play around, half speed it. That actually sounds pretty dope. So you know what? I don't have a half sped open hat. I'm going to keep it put the EQ 
You see how I did that? I put the EQ on top of the gross beat. Because if the gross beat's down here, the EQ's not doing anything. It's EQing the sound before the gross beat and not after the gross beat. If you really wanted to, you could just add another EQ. And uh, just like that. So now I got an EQ before, EQ after. And now I'm gonna add the Edison, on play, press record, press play up here. That's done. You see how it, it looped? So in order to get rid of that, you're gonna have to click stop recording. Then you're gonna hit control and you're gonna left click on this marker here. It's gonna select just there and usually I just hit control X, we'll get rid of it. And we can also get rid of this little gap here, but just make sure you're not gonna clip any of the sample when you do this. So I'll just get rid of this, just delete, delete a little bit more. All right, now this sound is good to go. I'm gonna export it. BMC's dimensions, drum kit, BMC, low. save it and then we're gonna move on to the next one get rid of this put it here it's a nice sound that they have I think I'm gonna change the the sample start I think I'm gonna do something like that normalize it the out knob on this one a little bit and maybe we'll we'll drop it down 200 cents nah I don't like it we'll keep it like that um, and then we'll maybe add some effects some reverb Another thing I like to do when I add a reverb is turn the wet all the way up, dry all the way down, and use this to control the wetness. Something like that I think is good. EQ it. Keep it like that, okay, Edison. Actually, you know what, I wanna make this one more unique. We can add, hmm. Girl speed maybe to this one. That. that's different you know what let's go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and record that if no one has that that's officially the first time you ever heard that open hat homie nobody has that on play record and now we are going to hit play Boom, now we're done. Export. I don't even know what to call this one, it's so dirty. Oh, dirty. BMC, dirty. Open. Open. Hi. Hat. Okay, that one's done. Yeah, and pretty much you guys get the point and um, if you want to start making 
I guess I'll show you guys how to, I do my weights as well. I already exported this one, but get your 808. And another trick I like to do is obviously with the pitch, I either pitch it up, pitch it down, but another good effect for your kicks, for your snares and for your 808s is uh, these legacy effects over here. If you hit this, uh, this tab here, click on it. There's this boost knob and you can change this boost knob and it'll fatten up your 808 or your kick. You can see right away what that does. I usually just do it like very, very, very subtly. All these things make uh, small differences. See, I like, I like it. I like how it sounds when it's clipping. To be honest with you keep it like that and then same thing you add your uh your pattern open up edison yada 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 so i'll show you an example here with this kick it's one of my favorite kicks uh we'll go to the pre-computed effects and we're just going to bring up the boost a little bit so you can hear right away um That's it without any any boost. With boost now, sounds like this. So it's already it's already louder right off the jump. If you add the clippings, see what it did to the wave files there. It's clipping it. It's not letting it pass zero. So I'm gonna bring this down a bit. Um, maybe bring down the pitch. Yeah, I like how that sounds. So, again, you should try your uh, your sounds as you go, right? So, so far that sounds good. Speed this up. You guys get the point you guys get the point so let's do this bear kick add the bear kick i'm gonna take a little bit of the distortion off and i'm gonna change the pitch back because i like the way this kick sounds and um We might EQ it a little bit, take out some of the highs. There is a lot of highs in this. Yeah. Somewhere right there. And then we'll just bring out Edison once again. Record on play. There's your file. We're going to name this one. DMC I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these patterns when I'm done we're gonna get into my BeatStars account and I'll show you guys exactly how to upload it what is up everybody back again BMC on the beat got my dimensions drum kit finally finished and now I'm just gonna run through the sound so you guys can hear what I came up with 
it's up for sale for 25 hit me up if you guys are interested and i'm just going to run through some of the sounds bmc on the If you guys are interested in getting the drum kit, it's up at uh, beatstars.com forward slash prod by BMC. Got all my beats, and here it is, the drum kit, my first drum kit. I'll show you guys what I put for the description. So for the description, I just put the amount of loops I have, the amount of kicks, claps, perks. So I got 60 signature sounds in this kit for 25, which I think is a pretty fair deal. Uh, yeah, I just put description, premium wave, all mixed and designed by BMC. And that's it. If you guys are interested in learning how to actually upload this to your account, it should be pretty straightforward. If you have the premium version, like I'm a premium member of BeatStars, or sorry, unlimited member of BeatStars, so they allow me to upload sound kits. So it's literally just a matter of of uploading it the same way you would upload a beat pretty much so I'll just run through it quick with you guys sound kits you want to upload your sound kits to here so you'd hit upload you'd have to um, make your sound kit into a zip folder so the way to do that is once you get your once you get your, let's say this is my this is my kit right here. Once you have your kit, you right click, send to, compress zip folder. Once you hit that, it will make a zip folder for you and you'll be able to upload it here. Sound kit title, add some tags. This is where I put the description, the price, yada, yada, yada. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's try and cook something up with this. Get some drums going here.
my video like comment share subscribe do whatever you gotta do help me get to the top please i appreciate all y'all for coming to the channel and checking me out thanks again more videos on the way let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below peace BMC.